All right, so it looks like we just got hit with a huge bombshell, the major announcement from Yeezy that we've all been waiting on. So previously, if you visited Yeezy.com, you would notice that the website was no longer taking orders and rather the homepage was replaced with this countdown with all of the remaining orders which had yet to be fulfilled. Of course, many people speculated that once all of those orders were fulfilled, potentially we could expect to see a new Yeezy.com drop. Well, it looks like today all of those orders have been fulfilled in Many people were presently surprised with this major announcement. It looks like Vultures 2 will be dropping August 2nd, which makes this Friday the release date for the highly anticipated album, the follow-up to Vultures Volume 1, which included the number one single in Carnival from Ye and Ty Dolla Sign. Now, when it comes to this release date, August 2nd, this Friday, I wouldn't exactly set it in stone because it's Ye we're talking about here, and he hasn't really been known to have a really great track record of delivering projects on time, but the the good thing is it looks like it is a working date they are trying to put out the project so that's the great thing and who knows they may shock everybody and actually drop the project on time so vultures to potentially this friday now of course with a new project everybody's gonna be excited about all the new records we've heard a lot of leaks and everything like that but on top of the music when have you ever had a yay project drop without merch so i think i want to say dating back from the college dropout every album he's dropped he's released merch on top of it and i wouldn't expect nothing less from him for this project especially with yeezy being fully independent now so what could we expect for this drop well we've seen yay rock and a whole bunch of different Yeezy prototypes to various zip up hoodies. We've seen this raincoat, some shorts, um, different t-shirts with this Yeezy sport graphic, as well as recently rocking these new sweatpants which have some type of Russian graphic on them. It's kind of difficult to translate. I don't know what they say, but they look cool and telling from the cut and the shape and everything like that, these are most definitely Yeezy. So I feel like all of this is fair game to expect for a new Yeezy drop. And of course, when will it drop? Well, I would say with the project potentially dropping on Friday, we can expect new uh, Yeezy drop to be at any time. Now, previously for Vultures Volume 1, we saw an entire pack of merch drop, which included the Yeezy Pods, Ye's very first endeavor independently into the world of footwear. So as far as the Yeezy Pods, I would say they had a kind of mixed reaction. You had some people which absolutely love them, other people that hate them and want nothing to do with them and don't even call them sneakers to begin with. Personally, I actually have been to have the Yeezy Pies on my sneaker of the year list. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but it's my list. I love the functionality. I love the unique design, the minimalistic design, and of course the price point. As we know, they originally retailed at 200 bucks. Then we had the infamous Super Bowl ad, dropped the price down to 20 bucks, and the rest is history. So even if you didn't love them, you were paying attention to what was going on. You talked about them. And with 20 bucks, you probably ordered yourself a pair of Yeezy Pies yourself. But as far as new Yeezy footwear, we're gonna touch a little bit more on that tomorrow as I did actually happen to get some new intel that they actually are working on some new stuff, but no telling if it's actually gonna be a part of this drop or not. But one thing I definitely know is we can expect to see new clothing, which I'm absolutely loving everything that they've been dropping in uh, Yeezy's year one of independency. Gotta love all the progressive cuts and most definitely the $20 price tag because, you know, being a struggling YouTuber as myself, $20 is really the only thing I could afford. So definitely excited to be going on a new $20 Yeezy shopping spree. And who knows if they'll even be able to maintain this $20 price tag. But as far as the big announcement, Vultures 2 coming this Friday. Now, do you guys feel honestly like they're gonna drop the project on the scheduled date? Or do you think things will be delayed? Do you think they're gonna drop this on streaming platforms or strictly through Yeezy? Dot com. Now, the way I think things are going to go down is we do have the listening event scheduled for next month. So I do not think we're going to see the project before the listening event. So meaning I don't think they're going to stick to Friday's release date. But with a big announcement for Friday, what I think will actually go down, we'll probably see a Yeezy.com drop, meaning new merch, new clothing on Friday. And then I think the project or album will probably uh, roll out with the listening event. So we'll probably see a new clothing drop on Friday. Friday, and then I'm expecting to see the project drop at the end of next month. That's what I think is going to go down. Let me know what you guys think. But regardless, either way, Yeezy fans, we are eating and 
is most definitely up. Now, in other news, yesterday we touched on Fear of God Athletics' next upcoming drop with Adidas and kind of talked about how overall this entire collaboration has been pretty disappointing. Well, it seems like I'm not the only one that shares those feelings as a recent article has been published with the title Fear of God Athletics' so-called era is coming to an end. And included in this publication, it does read, quote, no official announcement yet, but word on the streets is that Adidas will not renew its contract Contract with Jerry Lorenzo in fear of God athletics when it comes to an end this year so that's pretty crazy to think that of course out of the hype and anticipation with this major collaboration which was announced years back of course we all know the whole breakdown of how the collaboration felt like it took too long people were underwhelmed with the designs and everything that we saw and as far as the price tag people felt like it was just a little bit too pricey while i would agree that the price tag was a little bit crazy i do enjoy the product that they've been putting out but as i mentioned just a little bit too pricey now i did happen to pick up the basketball one model which retailed at 250 I enjoy that model but can't really see myself coming to uh, buy any of the other colorways especially you know dishing out another $250 so I have a hard time believing that Adidas is going to be able to successfully move all of this product now it looks like the good old folks over at Complex you know they had to be nosy and butt their heads in this so they actually reached out to Jerry Lorenzo himself so it looks like they set that boy up mentioned what's going on with this article saying that Adidas is looking to end the whole fear of God deal and everything like that and it looks like they got the word from Jerry himself good clickbait for the article now Jerry said himself with Adidas we have the fear of God 2 coming at the end of this year he also said the three hits holiday 25 after that the future will be determined by the promise fulfilled by these next two performance shoes so it looks like why Jerry what he's kind of doing right here is saying that of course you know the Adidas deal is lined up for the next couple of years but he is kind of saying right here he's not saying it directly but saying that he is kind of walking on thin ice right here and it's kind of based off how the people respond to this new product of uh what the future partnership for adidas and fear guy holds but i would say with this upcoming drop which we guys see is loaded up right now via the confirmed app for an august 3rd release we can look forward to a restock of the 100 fear guide slides we got a new colorway for those runners and a new colorway for the basketball model which honestly isn't doing too much i mean the gray and black color scheme is clean but i feel like it's not separating itself enough to you know to dish out another 250 dollars for a basketball model which people already feel like is overpriced so while i say jerry isn't confirming this directly it feels like his statement was kind of a indirect confirmation of what that original article did mention that adidas isn't really looking to renegotiate that deal once it comes to an end but it looks like we got the basketball two model and according to jerry a basketball three model which i guess we can expect a slow drip feed of releases as he confirmed the three won't actually be released until holiday of 2025 so not all the way until until a whole year and a half from now. So it looks like we have a lot to look forward to from Adidas and Fear God, but I just honestly feel like with drop after drop, the people are just gonna continue to be more uninterested as these releases continue to go on. But of course, for Jerry, I wish this brother nothing but the best. And of course, I'll still be checking for the new product that they are releasing. But if the product ain't hitting like that and the price point's a little bit too crazy, I got to call it out. So let me know what you guys think about this upcoming Fear of God drop. Are you excited about the new products releasing? Have you purchased anything in the past? And do you just feel like it's a little bit too overpriced? Drop your feedback down below. And before we bounce, I did want to mention with all of the talk about all of these grails coming out the vault from Nike for 2025, of course, we're talking about pairs like the Galaxy Foam Posits, the Wu-Tang Dunks, pairs that we never thought would have seen the light of day. Yesterday, we just heard about the Shattered Backboard One, the PlayStation Air Force Ones and apparently even these MF Doom Dunks are going to be returning for next year. So with all of these rumors that these pairs are dropping, people feel like, you know, there's no way Nike could possibly be dropping all of these pairs in one single year. And a lot of people are feeling like some of these leakers could be capping, potentially just faking it 
for the views. But who knows, maybe Nike could even be feeding some fake information, trying to throw people off and everything like that. Because as far as these leaks goes, do you feel like with all of these early leaks, like we pretty much already know everything that's dropping for next year, do you feel like these leaks hurt Nike as a company overall? Or do you feel like it helps them, you know, build anticipation and excitement for all of these drops? Because I feel like with all of this stuff coming out the vault and all of these leaks coming out super early, in my opinion, I feel like it only hurts them because I think we would be a lot more excited if these pairs were to just drop out of nowhere. And who knows, maybe Nike might have to hit some of these leakers with a cease and desist. But just my two cents on the whole matter. Let me know what you guys think as well as all of the topics covered today. So we're done for today. If you guys enjoyed the update, please help support the channel by hitting that like button and stay tuned for tomorrow as uh, we got some more Yeezy information we're gonna be discussing uh, leading up for the big drop, which could potentially go down this Friday. So I'll catch you guys next time. In the meantime, stay safe, stay blessed. I'm J.A. and I'm out, y'all. Love.